thinking about your, your, your idea of courage as something necessary for fighting the good fight, you know. But I think it's more love. I think it's love will inspire courage. Think of a mother bear defending her cubs or something, you know. It's, it's love. And if this place inspires love, maybe that it cares about you because it inspires love in you for, for it. Um, it's, it's, but it's you know, entirely subjective and a product of the symbolic register, I suppose, but still. There could also be something going on at the quantum level, which if you study physics, it's some such things as quantum entanglement. The word, if you really, if you go delve deeply into quantum, the quantum mechanics, quantum theory, the world looks so much more mysterious than if you think of it in Newtonian terms and mechanistic. I, I think many people who don't delve into the modern physics tend to think in terms of 19th century physics and mechanism and, and the world is much more mysterious than, than that. And so the concepts of spirit uh, might could be reframed in terms of physics <laughs> and our connection at a quantum level with the matter around us or matter that flows through us. We're, we're interacting all the time with our environment and participating in its overall life. And... Uh, we get entangled with it <laughs> in many ways that maybe we don't understand or can never understand, but perhaps though it engenders insights, thoughts, feelings <laughs> that are important to us, that make us feel cared about perhaps even. 